I'm sure the the economic collapse of 2008 or the 2007-2008 years had an effect. My hunch is that Trump is a large chunk of his support are people who have been displaced by, say, forces of globalization that may have an effect in terms of when the economic crisis happened. These were the folks that suddenly found themselves either out of work or out of their homes, uh, and that they're just looking for us a forthright leader who has an opinion and is willing to pursue it. When you have a economic uh, retraction, then the question is, well, what's more important? If it's, uh, if it's me or my neighbor, uh, what am I going to do? And most people would say, well, I'm going to protect myself. We need to protect ourselves, right? And that can be expressed in building a wall with Mexico, revisiting free trade agreements, you know, uh, all sorts of other things that the, the Trump uh, candidacy is expressing. Um, that's a difficult question to answer. Um, there have been a couple of points in which Trump, I think, has expressed views that are almost, not like head-scratching, but almost jaw-dropping. So, I mean, the anecdote to which Trump was asked, or rather asked a foreign policy advisor something about, well, we have all these nuclear weapons, why don't we use them? Uh, I mean, just the... The idea of the use of nuclear weapons as a, a foreign policy tool is almost beyond not even like normal discourse, but even sort of beyond e even imaginable discourse. But uh, again, I mean, does that mean if Trump is elected president, we're headed into a nuclear war? I sure hope not. But I mean, part of it is it, it's it, you just don't know with Donald Trump. Um, if it was, if the election was held today, it seems like most of the predictive models that are out there are suggesting uh, a Hillary Clinton victory. Um, that being said, we're still quite a ways out from the election and anything could happen in terms of some sort of crisis in the U.S., some sort of foreign policy crisis that could dramatically change the states in the debate. Uh, as it is now, Hillary has, at least according to the polls, uh, uh, a sizable lead in the states that are traditionally democratic and a smaller but still identifiable lead in the so-called battleground states. And that, if that holds, should give her an electoral college victory sufficient to win the election. But as it is now, um, my hunch is that it's uh, going to be a Clinton victory.